Hello to all of you. It's great to know that so many of you are joining us this evening to be a part of our 37th annual Taste the Class for Kids event and our first ever virtual event. As you know, our Taste of Class for Kids event was scheduled to take place on May 9th at the downtown Hilton, but due to COVID-19, this is the safest way that we could come together this evening. I wanted to kick us off by simply saying thank you. You're such a generous group of people. Tonight, you've opted to spend valuable time with us. For that, we're truly grateful. During these unprecedented times, the fact that we can continue this event and to celebrate the purpose with which it was created so many years ago simply speaks volumes to our organization. Big Brothers Big Sisters serves over 6,000 youth through our one-to-one -one mentoring relationships in communities, in schools, and our camp at Odioko environmental education experience. In addition, we provide support to so many mentoring organizations through our mentoring capacity building arm of our work. We provide support to these organizations, recognizing that we are all in this together. As frontline partners during COVID-19, over the past months, Big Brothers Big Sisters has stayed true to our commitment to youth, to our families, to our volunteers, and to all of those that we've been commissioned to serve. Our vehicle of delivering our mission is through relationships, and we have remained steadfast in our charge. None of us could have ever anticipated having to deliver services during a pandemic, but as an organization, we quickly shifted because our kids needed us to do so. Our staff and our amazing cohort of volunteers have been committed to supporting our little social emotional needs during this time. We've been staying connected through pen pal opportunities, FaceTime interaction, virtual gaming, and video chats. Those check-ins have been helpful for littles as well as bigs. And while we had to suspend in-person school-based programs earlier this year, those relationships have continued to connect virtually with facilitation from our team members as our kids face very unique challenges in this new environment. Even our camp is transitioning to a virtual experience that mimics to the extent possible a week at Camp Odiogwa so that learning continues for our kids throughout their summer experience. Our virtual activities include social emotional learning lessons around our camp values, art and cooking activities, environmental education enrichment such as stream studies, forest ecology, guided nature hikes, and even a virtual campfire experience. We do this work in partnership with families, and although they are highly resilient, we know many have been impacted the greatest during this pandemic. In addition to our virtual wellness check-ins with families, we've been providing basic needs support. We've engaged in social distancing front door deliveries. We created a family resiliency fund to assist families with groceries and a broad range of needs resources that, quite frankly, we would not be able to offer without the ongoing support from many of you. We hope you enjoy our virtual event tonight. You are in for a treat as we engage in a celebration of our littles of all stages. We know as this pandemic evolves and our community works towards recovery, kids will need our support and we will be here. Every dollar you invest this evening will help advance our work as we prioritize children in our rebuild strategy. A special thanks to our board members for your extraordinary ongoing support, to champion companies and nationwide for your investment, and to our Taste of Class for Kids Committee for all of your work pulling this together. You are incredible partners in this work. <laughs> There are those in life who choose a different path. A path of purpose. A path of hope. A path of impact. A path that leads to the biggest possible future. It isn't all 
always easy. But those with passion find a way to break through. They see the path even when it isn't always clear. Because every child deserves a chance to achieve their full potential. Together, we lead the way to ignite the power and the promise of youth. Together, we are the defenders of the potential. Hello, my name is My Zion and I'm a rising sophomore at Columbus College of Art and Design and I created these two pieces entitled Sensor Beauty and Smoking Beauty. These pieces tell a short story of realizing inner beauty as the first portrays what's hidden and censored. This is shown through the black and white color palette and the mosaic element. However, the element of flowers is what's truly within. The second piece is after a person realizes their inner beauty and allows it to radiate all over at an exaggerated rate. This is shown through the smoke and the vibrant color of the figures and flowers. I truly hope this work can inspire and elevate the minds and hearts of those who view it. Thank you. Got you involved into Big Brothers Big Sisters. Why did you want to do it? So this started for me back when I was a, a kid. I actually had a big brother in my life, uh, and um, going through a time after uh, you know my parents had gotten divorced, and um, I, I had a big brother that really uh, was there for me and, and my two brothers at the time, and would uh, spend time with us and and his family and go and do things. And so uh, it's always been something that uh, has been uh, a part of my life. So as I've, you know, gotten older and, and did, you know, various things over the year and certain programs with REACH programs and things like that. When I got involved with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, um, a little over 10 years ago, I mean, it was pretty much a no brainer. This was my volunteering activity that I wanted to give back. I don't have any kids myself, but uh, my wife was a teacher. She's uh, just retired last year. And, and really, um, I, I like uh, supporting the kids and uh, with things going on uh, nowadays with, and uh, kids and stuff. It was very important to me. What I always try to tell people is when they ask me, what, what do you think of Big Brothers Big Sister? They say, you guys, you know, it's always thought of that you're doing so much for your little brother, but they also do a lot for me in terms of what I, uh, how much I grow, how much I develop, how much I um, just learned about myself. And I'm assuming you feel the same way doing this for 10 years. You've, you've gained a lot of, out of this just as much as your mentees have. I have, I, I, I can't tell you how uh, the emotions I feel just proud to be a part of the program and, and some, some of the things that, and not only supporting with my uh, 
time spent with him, but even uh, from a financial standpoint, um, even after I uh, retire, I, I told uh, uh, some of the, the CEO there uh, that I, you know, I plan to still be a, a, a volunteer and get really act and stay and stay actively involved because, and I, I tell them all the time, you know, how else can I get involved? You know, even besides just being a mentee, being involved in some of the activities they have and um, it, it's just, I, I can't tell you enough how, how passionate I am about it and how much I get out of the experience uh, myself as well, so. So obviously he's about to graduate. What, what's going through your mind as he, I know it's gonna be a unique graduation obviously this year, but uh, mm -hmm. what's going through your mind as he gets ready to move on to the next step of his, of his life? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss him a little bit. I, I know I'll, I'll uh, go on to another mentee because I told him I want, you know, I want to continue and, and uh, work with another mentee as well. But uh, um, like I said, uh, it, uh, I'm really proud of him. I, I know over the uh, last few weeks he's been studying really hard because he says he's getting a lot of homework. And, and you know, he says, you know, I want to graduate. And I said, you work as hard as you can to make sure you, you do that. And uh, I think uh, it's, I'm going to miss some of the time, but like I said, I, I plan on staying in contact with him. Uh, he's asked me to kind of support him in, in getting his uh, uh, driver's license and stuff like that and passing the test, the written tests. And, and so, you know, I told him, you know, I'd be glad to help him with that and, and help him study with that. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a little weird because, you know, then I'll start building another relationship with someone else, but I, I definitely will, uh, Missed that time with him, you know, a couple times a month that I did spend with him. I'm right with you. My 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 little's about to cross the finish line into graduation too, and it it hasn't hit me yet, but it's gonna hit me at some point, I know for sure. What would you tell people of any age uh, about getting involved in Big Brothers Big Sisters? Because uh, I think a lot of people may have a their own ideas of what it is and and what it's all about. But for you, what advice would you give them? And what would you tell them why it's a good idea to get involved? Well, you, you touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, uh, the experience itself is not just for them, but it's rewarding for you as well. And I think you, you're going to be surprised how much you really give, you know, get out of it, spending that time with that individual and, and, and influencing that, that individual's life. And I, I tell people I talk to all the time because I'm always trying to recruit uh, um, individuals of all ages um, to get involved. And, you know, they sometimes they'll, they'll say, well, I, I don't know if I can connect with them because of the age, you know, and, and, and really, I think you, they, you really have to look at, they're not really thinking about your age and then everything like that. They're looking at the time you're really investing in them and that you really care about what the, you know, their successes are and you want to help them get there, whether it's getting ready to go to college, whether it's going into the service or something like that, um, they're going to remember that. And I think, uh, like I said, it's, it's going to uh, surprise you as well because you're going to get, you're going to feel proud about it. You're going to, and it's almost like they're not your kid, but you know, it's kind of like they kind of are in a way like, you know, cause you're molding them a little bit and, um, and giving them good advice and stuff and uh, they look up to them and uh, that's a uh, I think that's really important